Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Homeowner Series. Today, we have a little bit of a busy day today and a bit of a different day. I currently just spent maybe like 20 grand purchasing a storage unit. Now, I know 20 grand seems off from a storage unit. Well, that's because I actually just bought the whole storage unit. It's a pretty big storage unit in a enclosed area, meaning it's, it's a little bit on the road, but it's a private facility. So we're actually gonna be heading there now is because I want to take my camper over there. I bought a couple more things from the dealership as well, and I want to take over there to the storage facility as well. I want to take my camper over there because I know it fits in my driveway pretty good and in the air in the spot it is in now, but I don't want to risk, and especially how I drive, bump it into my garage or this tree right in front of my driveway. That's what we're going to be do going now is dropping off the camper there, and then we're going to go back over to the dealership and pick up the rest of the stuff. So let me just go ahead and make sure my garage and my house is locked up and then we'll be on our way down to the storage facility. It's only about like a quarter mile away from my house. All right, and I am off to the storage facility. I would kind of like to buy that truck off my neighbor, but I'm pretty sure that's his only truck. But anyways, off to the storage facility, and I'll catch you guys back once we are there. I do really like this town of Somerset. It's quite beautiful and peaceful at the same time. Gosh, I can't wait to go camping. All right, we just reached the storage facility here, and my storage unit is all the way at the end. And like I said, they are pretty big storage facilities. Um, they got trash bins, you know, on both sides of the facility and there's a main office which the person who owns the facility actually lives on site which is actually pretty useful and helpful I do gotta say it's pretty big and kind of roomy in the facility as well. It was actually quite easy back in this camper up in this this unit. As soon as I get disconnected, I'll show you the other portion of the facility that I bought as well. That's why it was a little bit pricey. So the reason for me buying this extra spot is because it's so I can have somewhere decent for my truck to park. So I'm not, you know, storing it outside of winter. Granted, I have a garage at home, but I really don't want to keep it at home. I mean, winter is coming up and my garage is actually actually not heated like this one that I had built. I know you guys are gonna say you're gonna make fun of me down in the comments. So, well, it's a truck. It's meant to be, you know, no. Uh, this truck is actually still new and I didn't realize winter was like right around the corner and I don't want the salt to ruin it, get rusted or, you know, something get damaged on this truck because it is still brand new and a clean truck and that's what I'm trying to keep it as. Alrighty, just got over to the dealership, picked back up the camera. Uh, here is the new Blaster four-wheeler that I just purchased, brand new, ready to race. Let's hear a cold start. Well, not cold start. Oh yeah, she sounds really good. So let me go ahead and get my truck and this four-wheeler loaded up on the trailer real quick. Alright, I didn't think this through when I made the uh, final purchase for the trailer and the truck. Well, guess I'll have to come back for it. Alrighty, well the dealership people saw me sell outside still and they went ahead and offered me a brand new 863 turbo skid steer on tracks with a bucket for only 20 grand. Couldn't pass up the offer so I just went ahead and purchased it. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this up to the trailer and take everything over to the storage unit and then come back and pick the truck up oh man i didn't realize i left my side door open well that's fine it's not winter yet no one's around at least i hope nobody's around all right well let me go ahead and put this trailer in here real fast like and i will be back with you guys shortly as soon as we go and pick up that other truck because i have a, another project to go to and you guys are going to be coming along with me for the project well i am a complete idiot and i just remembered i have to take my skid steer with me so i guess i'm going to go back over to the storage facility go pick up my trailer my skid steer put take my blaster back to my house put that in the garage i got to put my harley away and then we'll go ahead and load the zero turn up on the trailer with the skid steer and then go over to the property that i have mentioned well i didn't really mention a property oh crap i just spoiled it oh man all right so since i did mention it was a property i kind of spoiled it for you guys um well anyways backstory the whole story is and that looks like a nice hot rod but anyways the backstory is uh the owner abandoned the house it really wasn't a house at least the picture didn't look like an actual house on the marketplace photo that was taken on the marketplace it looked like a trailer and a bunch of garbage around the house so i can imagine what the inside of the house looks like so i have no clue um all i know is it really had like a short story on the description i didn't really care to read it so i just went ahead and contact the property owner which is the sheriffs now who own the property since it was abandoned and then we're going to go ahead and get a price on it since it was negotiable on the price 
that's what they said in the description but anyways i'm going to go to my house get the zero turn get loaded up and then head back on over to the property where it's located which is directly in the middle of center of town all right just touched down in the town it was like five minutes away from my property well five ten minutes away so i figured just fill up my slip tank and my uh, hot shot bed go ahead and pay for that and then head on over to the property all right let's go ahead and start filling this up with diesel Man, I kind of hope no one thinks I'm going to pee in my tank, because that would be all bad, man. I, I don't need the cops here. Alrighty, so the GPS says it's on this road here. Uh, looks like there's a bowling center and a grocery mart. And dang, lady, watch out. Can't see a big truck and a snowplow coming through. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, well, my GPS just turned off and said I was here. So, yeah, this looks like the house. It, yeah, it definitely looks like an abandoned house here. So, I'm going to go ahead and park up here, take you guys around the property. Can't go inside yet because I still got to wait for the sheriffs to pull up with the key to let me in and view it. And then maybe go ahead and purchase it. I'm, I'm thinking about buying it, actually. It's quite decent property. It's a middle of town. I don't know what I would do with it yet. Uh, but I guess time will tell. Alrighty, and here's the property. It's a one bed, one bath trailer. Bunch of garbage, like I said, around the property. This is a really pathetic driveway. I can do a lot better, but I guess it only seems right for the location and the property where it's sitting. So it looks like the, all the dumpsters are full. That's a pretty bad sign. Uh, junk car, junk shed, and I've seen more trash back there. So. What I'm going to go ahead and do, and this is where the property line ends, I'm assuming here. But yeah, what I'm going to do here is wait for the sheriffs to pull up and then go ahead and negotiate the price due to the condition of the house. Alrighty, well, we negotiated a price of $8,000, so that only seems right. The inside of the house was completely gone, gutted, no copper piping or nothing, no electrical. So let's go ahead and get the grass mode and then go from there. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get the mower warmed up and I'll give you guys a nice time lapse of me mowing the grass. Crazy nights, figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that I need. But there is breakneck, paycheck. Well, just got done mowing all the grass here. I did take a load of trash in. Well, I had some guy pick it up and I paid him for it. And meaning that the only trash that I took out of here was on the side of the house and right next to the driveway because there was a lot. I will be back, I'm pretty sure, another day to finish up the house. I still got a bunch of scrap to do and a bunch of demolishing to do. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with this project. I really don't have uh, any ideas for this project. I just went ahead and bought it blindsided. Just, you know, figured I'd go ahead and buy it. I, I really didn't know what to do with it. So here I am now just trying to figure out an idea is what to come out of this so I can make a decent profit out of it. I don't know if I should build another house on this with a, another garage. Not 100% sure yet if it should be like another house or a garage, just like I said. So let me know and down in the comment section below what I should turn this place into I'll catch you guys in the next homeowners episode I go straight from the bank gas 